everybody. So it's uh, Thursday, I believe. <laughs> Don't ask me the day. It's Thursday and we were supposed to be in Epcot today. It's now 5.30. I way overslept till this afternoon um, and then real life suffer with anxiety and I've been having a bit of an anxiety attack. So today is not what it's supposed to be. Um, however, we do need to eat. We need some water. I had some Powerade here in the villa, but we need water and we need to eat something that isn't Cheetos or Amaretz cake. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to explore Saratoga Springs a little bit. Um, I don't know this resort at all. I hadn't researched this resort. It was just somewhere for me to add on. So we're going to go out. We're going to go have a look. We're going to have a look at the pool areas. We're going to have a look at the store, the food offerings. What I can tell you is this resort is massive. I'm in the grandstand, which is when you drive in the main entrance, you take a right. I haven't even seen the other bits. There is a boat to Disney Springs. There is several pool areas. There is a lot to it and it's surrounded by a golf course. So we're kind of in the middle of a golf course here. Uh, <laughs> so let's go out, let's go have a look. Breathe with me, even talking about going out, I'm losing my breath and it's not from um, moving around. So bear with me, you're coming on my therapy walk with me. Let's call it a therapy walk and uh, we'll see how we get on. But yeah, bottom line, we've got to eat. We have to. I have pounds to spare, but at the end of the day, I need tea. So let's go. So this is what my view backs onto. If you can see through the trees there, this is all golf course. It's very green. You can smell the freshly cut grass, actually. And uh, seeing the red over there, red shutters, that's where the pool is. But um, every building here, You've got parking outside, so uh, there's a spot for your car, which is great. Having anxiety and having had it properly since I was maybe 12. Uh, so we're talking 30 years of dealing with this. There is no rhyme or reason to it with me. There are some things that trigger me, like supermarkets overwhelming and claustrophobic sometimes it can happen for no reason I've had counseling I've had psychotherapy I've had antidepressants I've had sleeping tablets I've had the whole spectrum of treatments and talking what I do know is that I always get through it that these attacks are temporary that putting pressure on myself just makes it a hell of a ton worse and if you sit there trying to pull yourself together and fighting it now obviously if it goes on for weeks then yeah because you can't function like that and this is real life and I have four kids and and you can't do that but on the whole you have to respect mental illness like an actual illness. So, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, they're real. Did not expect these guys to be real. They are not animatronics. They are in fact moving. Way to throw off my train of thought, guys. Look at you. Holy moly. I'd move on before Thanksgiving if I was you. That's all I'm saying. As I was saying, you know, you have to respect it as an illness. Mental health is, is just as valid an illness as those physical things. But, well, well, I'm losing my train of thought already, but respect it, treat it, rest, recover. But then, then you have to get on with your life and you have to learn to live with it like you would any other condition. And yes, people look at me weird because I'm holding a camera. <laughs> Because we made it by the uh, grandstand pool area now. And um, I can see snack bar and bar. There's a pool in there. 
down here is a really cool little um, splash zone actually. I don't want to interfere on anyone's privacy, but um, I like the red colours. That's nice. I checked out the menu. It is a full bar. They do snack meals, sandwiches, stuff like that. Uh, you can refill your mug, I believe. Yeah, you can refill your mug. I can see people doing it. So that's good. Oh, that's a better view of the pool. There we go. So this is just one pool at Saratoga Springs. That is pretty nice, to be fair. I'm liking that. All right, now we're going into territory. I have no clue. We are walking further into the resort. Way to go, Claire. Go somewhere you don't know on anxiety day. <laughs> uh, I have no clue. I see a Disney bus up there, which means there's a road. Lots more buildings that way. It's like taking a walk in the park. This is what Saratoga Springs feels like. Whew. There's a map. We like maps. So, grandstand is over here. This is my building and we've just come to see the pool. Anyone see the pool on here? Guessing it's here? Okay, so, oh, I'm here. Oh, see, there it is, you are here. Thank you. So I'm actually just under the road, we'll be checking in the carriage house. So this is where we're gonna go, this is the main bit. But as you can see, we've got grandstand, carousel, the paddock, Congress Park and the Springs. This is a huge, huge resort. But uh, there's buses, so I guess if I follow that path up there, we'll find our way to the carriage house, which is the main check-in building. And if you're wondering, well, Claire, you're in the resort and you checked in, how do you not know where it is? Disney now does everything through the My Disney Experience app and you have a direct to check-in option Direct, sorry, direct your room option on your phone. So when your room is ready, it gives you the room number and you can go directly to your room, all part of their no contact uh, thing. I'm looking like this because I can see a ton of construction over there and scaffolding. And I'm wondering um, what on earth? Very confusing. Uh, okay, something is down that way. Oops! Okay, so we're going to walk past these uh, golf carts right here. Don't forget, it is a golf golf uh, course as well. I see lots of golfing things here. I smell food. I think this is the uh, golfing area. I don't think we want to go that way. Yeah, definitely golfing. Never a mistake. Now I know where to go if I ever want to play golf. Because I do it all the time. <laughs> all right, we're going to go around this um, construction. Disney bus. I see a pathway through. So um, that's where I'm aiming for. I saw cast members. I like cast members. They make me feel better. <laughs> okay, it was just by that path. So this is the carriage house they've got all the maps i like that i'm going to be grabbing perfect maps hell yeah um we're gonna have a look around here so that really wasn't very far although the map everything had me worried really wasn't too far look at that very nice and everything seems to be under refurbishment right now in this area in this circle congratulations you've won the derby look at that Nice work. So we found the main pool area, starts up here. You can see I could go in the gate, but I don't want to obviously uh, impose on anyone's privacy. There is a water slide in there as well. This is a fairly big pool. It's nicely themed as well. Very tranquil. I like it. So we're gonna go inside Artist Palette now. I can see the main restaurant there, Turf Club. And down the path is Senses Spa, which I believe is probably closed right now for treatments. But uh, we're gonna go in here. 
and because we're going in an indoor area mask is on all right so the store here is called artists palette as well and it's a bit smaller than some of the other resorts but that's okay i'm surprised actually because saratoga springs is such a big resort but it is a dvc meaning it's a disney timeshare resort so we're going to have a look around before we get something to eat nice. if you're a dvc member you can in fact have your own spirit jersey they've got some of the 50th items here what's left on this rack i kind of like this let's have a look at the front of this oh happy halloween for a dvc member that's great i like that right there they have a dvc suitcase i like that we've got homeware Those teapots are very cute. I don't drink tea, but they are cute. I may already have the ice cream scoop at home. <laughs> nice. So they've got a few items if you've left something at home. But I, again, I was expecting more because it is a villa resort. So, you know, you've got some medicines and uh, self-care essentials there. Obviously we have ears. I'm just seeing if there's anything that um, wasn't available at the parks that might be available here, but so far, no. Again, a few of those items. Good to know. These I've seen a few places, but this is nice not having people. So these are actually notebooks and they look like storybooks. And I think they're beautiful actually. And they have some story pages. I'm not gonna open one now. This is a good idea. So you can keep a diary of your adventures. Look at the DVC ears right there. I like that. And there's a DVC magic band and also a mug. I, I think they're nice items if you're DVC. Hat as well there. Uh-oh, Alex and Arnie alert. Now, if anyone ever wants to send me a present, I love these little bangles. They have charms, they have uh, either picture charms, that one's ears. Look at the Cinderella one there, the carriage, that's beautiful. I think that's going on my want list. They've got the castle. My favorite ones are actually when they say something, and this one just says, just keep swimming. But I've been collecting one that says, um, dream is a wish or any positive Disney quotes. I do love those. Very sweet. All right, so from Archie's Palette here, we've got the Turkey Club Wrap. I'm gonna pick this up, it is cold. This is what it looks like. So we've got turkey, cheddar, bacon, lettuce, tomato, ranch dressing on a flat tortilla, served with house-made Saratoga chips. That looks really good. And it costs 11.49. So, when things like this happen to me, me and food, I'm an emotional eater. However, if it requires me to leave my room, I could probably go all day without eating and, and that's kind of what happened today. Um, I get here and my body won't tell me that I'm hungry. If I have junk food right there in front of me, I'll eat the lot. Eat just it. I, I do it to distract myself, whatever, without hunger. My body's not telling me I'm hungry, but my brain knows that I must eat something. So I've got food in front of me. Chances are I'll eat most of it, but it's just one of those one of those crazy things so I'm forcing myself to eat other problem was I was going through the menu they've got pizzas wraps sandwiches they've got hot options like meatballs and stuff and my brain I don't want any of it I don't want any of it so I've had to pick something that I don't know if I want or not and being here there's people around actually makes it worse but I got out of the room and I got this far and I'm sitting in Artie's palette and I've managed to order food and all of these little steps, baby steps, so one step at a time. So like, step one might be, okay, all we have to do is put clothes on and then put shoes on. Step two, we're gonna put in our bag what we'll need if we were leaving the place, okay? So I managed to put my bag together. And then step three, you know, I'll brush my hair. Now I've put it into braids, but it's something. And we go baby, baby steps. And that's how I get through my day. So I am gonna try and eat 
this which someone has kindly made for me that we are not going to waste i also did bring my refillable mug this is the um 50th anniversary so you've got mickey minis right there but look it's got everything disney world on it so i filled that up as well and i'll fill it up again and i bought myself two bottles of water as extra which disney prices you don't want to pay it but i've got to have water in that room and i don't think i should drive right now so that's where we're at so i'm gonna dig into this so i'm sitting here outside artist palette had something to eat browsed around the store i get out of my room i've walked a little bit got the pool there and the water's really calming um, I posted on my Instagram story about the anxiety thing and, and not going to Epcot like I planned. And the reason I share is for this very reason. My best friend here messaged me and offered to drive to me. My best friend from home messaged me. I've had a video call uh, with family at home. I've got my friends in a supportive group chat or reaching out to me and this is exactly why it's important to share when you feel like that someone is always there someone will care I am so grateful to have the support network I do but if I had stayed silent which is what I used to do I used to try and battle alone and I know a lot of people try and battle it alone but don't do it our natural instinct is to isolate ourselves when we feel like that. And trust me, today was minor in the grand scheme of things. There, there are times my anxiety can be so bad where I would literally want to claw at my skin to get out of my body. And I can't breathe. And I'm rocking. And <laughs> that stereotypical rocking in a corner, sobbing and not being able to breathe. And uh, I was lucky today it wasn't as bad as that. And I think sharing and talking about it the way I'm doing now, I think is, is beneficial for me, letting it out, verbalizing what I'm feeling. I would like to think it, it's beneficial to others too that you're not the only one. Now, I say that with the proviso that no one can know how you're feeling, what you're feeling, what your triggers are how bad it gets for you what you need to cope that is unique to you i don't pretend to know what you're feeling but what i do think is universal is that we want to isolate and that the best thing we can do is share openly and it is very difficult to do at first if you're not used to it but if you can share with one person or more and create a support network for yourself trust me it makes the world of difference um a lot of times people won't know what to do that's okay you just let them know that them just being there sometimes all it takes is a friend to call if you can bear to answer the phone because i've been there too where i have muted everything but a friend turning up at your door and just sitting and watching a movie with you anything pulling a funny face to break that that bubble you're in is so vitally important and helpful someone's dropped something metal back there um getting eaten by mosquitoes too nighttime in florida what i'd say is reach out to someone you're very welcome to um leave a comment and start a discussion at the bottom of this vlog um it is so common it happens to so many people um the other thing is forgiving yourself you know i was beating myself up putting this pressure on like i'm in disney i've wasted a whole day of my trip and and it's not it's not a waste if it means that tomorrow i can cope had i forced it today could have made it worse i could have been hiding in the room till i got on the plane i only have a couple of days left um i'm glad i'm 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 glad i've respected it enough to to give it the not healing time it's not bad enough for that but to give it 
the respect it deserves that hopefully tomorrow is going to be a better, a better day and the other thing is no matter how many bad days I have I'm still here you will always always get to a better day you just have to get through this bit and better days are coming they do they always do it comes in waves so I'm gonna get through this you will get through this it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay we can all do it together so just come to the other side of the pool which is a much nicer view and I just saw a gate and I think that steps up I think that's how you get to the slide but the pool must close early here because this is deserted it's just after seven so that spring comes down here look what we have here looks very much like a hot tub to me love a good hot tub and then just around here is census spa which had the spas been doing treatments at the moment i totally would have got one can't really see anything the glass is frosted s for senses would have totally got a treatment while i was here i thought i could walk around the pool do a loop but you can't it is blocked off gated so just looking at the map again and it looks like we're really close to the um boat dock for Disney Springs. So we'll take a walk down there, see where this boat dock is. Tempting to get on it, but there's actually nothing more <laughs> I need in Disney Springs. Oh, this is the way to the buses. But I think it's here somewhere, this boat dock. Let's go see. It's useful to know where the buses are anyway. Just walking and thinking here. Another really useful thing that I find is when this is more depression related when the world seems really bad is compiling a list either on paper or in your head of things you're grateful for and they don't have to be big things they can be start with I have a place to sleep tonight I have a roof over my head that's a great place to start I had food to eat today for me I have my babies who are all healthy. I am grateful that I'm in Disney World right now, even though there's a direct travel ban from the UK to America. I'm grateful that I was I had the strength to get out of bed and put clothes on today. Um, things like that. Just come across a sign for the running trail, if you are that way inclined. So, there's a 0.8 mile version and a 1.4 mile version that you can do around Saratoga Springs. Not my kind of thing, but I know some people they don't want to give up their exercise regime at Disney. But look, it's right there. So bus stops are right here. So Artist Palette was up that path there. So if you walk down the side of the pool, you will hit the bus stops here. So that's not too far at all. Now, we're walking here I see water I'm thinking a boat can't be far away to be honest I see another map so sorry I know the camera's bumping while I walk it's pretty here for sure it's nice so it looks like the boat dock is actually the other way so I am walking here in the springs I got you see we're here this is where carriage house check-in was and eating. The boat is down here, so I just missed it. <laughs> so it's <laughs> the other way and Disney Springs is all down here. So I think maybe we need to go the other way. <laughs> all right, back we go. <laughs> I'm confused though. I am confused because there is construction that way. I don't know. Can we get around? Pass. Let's go back where we were. Let's go back where we were. I also see a big hall here. Looks like a town hall. Could that be community hall? Bus. Bus coming. Bus coming. That looks like big building. Looks like community hall. Um, community hall at a DVC resort because it's a timeshare. 
they have things for their members such as um, DVD rental, activities, sports equipment, things like that. So I won't be going in there, but it does exist. I just had a very kind cast member inform me with the construction, it's made things a little bit more difficult. But remember that golf thing we saw earlier? Well, just walking past the golf carts and there is um, a boat down to Disney Springs this way. The boats have only, only, literally just started up either today or yesterday <laughs> and they've already been um, shut down this evening because there was thunder in the area disney are very safety conscious and and quite rightly but if we walk down here apparently there is a magical wonderful view of disney springs so that's what we're going to go look at okay so see that you are here we're in the right place the boats are shut down right now, clearly, but the boat dock is here. <laughs> this resort, while it's big, it's not impossible. Definitely not. So we are going to take a walk along this path, which yes, is desertion dock, but we're going to do it. And um, go look for this magical view of Disney Springs. <sighs> this is nice though. Very, very nice. And they have a ramp for accessibility if you should need it. Should we go find this amazing view of Disney Springs? I mean, it can only be to the right because that is literally the end of the water there. I hope. Maybe it's over there. Oh boy. Oh, that looks like Cirque du Soleil. Okay, maybe I go down there and that way. Oh, help. I'm really good at this, clearly. Sorry, guys. I've turned left. Right didn't feel right to me, turning left. I know we have to cross over water. Oh, there's a boat. There's a boat. Is it coming here? If it's coming here, I'm getting in it? No. No, I don't know. No, lights are out, okay. <laughs> you are getting a, <laughs> you are getting a real time vlog of my scatty brain. I don't know if you can see the boat in the dark there. I know this connects with um, Old Key West, I believe, and further down the water is Treehouse Villas. Look up Treehouse Villas at Saratoga Springs. Oh, wave flapping. <laughs> um, they are these um, octagonal shapes in the trees. They look very, very cool. Um, one day I might get to see inside one. Right, I can see lights across from me. That can only be Disney Springs. Okay, yeah. So we're cutting across the parking lot here. And um, yeah, I can see the bright lights of Disney Springs. So we're going to go check out this view. We can in fact walk to Disney Springs from here. And because I've been rested, my legs feel pretty good. This, this is technically the vlog of me rambling. This is me not on a good day. But uh, I will say this, you're getting the real me for sure. <laughs> So we found the gorgeous view. So starting over here, we've got Cirque du Soleil and House of Blues with the blue writing. Coming through to Haleo. And then I can see the big ball that is Planet Hollywood and uh, Characters in Flight, or it used to be Characters in Flight, the hot air balloon. Coming around to the Coca-Cola store. Then I can see Marketplace, Boathouse, that boat on the end is Paddlefish. So actually, that is a fantastic view all across Disney Springs. And there is another boat coming through. I think the boats might be running again. But there goes the boat. Now I just wanna know, where is this walkway? Now, I always thought the walkway from Saratoga Springs was over that way near World of Disney Paddlefish that way. However, I'm seeing a lit path along here that Cirque du Soleil is right there. So I'm thinking maybe you can walk either way. And I've already done that side of Disney Springs. So I'm thinking maybe I take that lit pathway along to what looks like Cirque du Soleil. Well, I know it's Cirque du Soleil, but it looks like the pathway goes to Cirque du Soleil. 
unless you literally can't. <gasps> ah! Okay, so back when we were at the boat dock, had I gone right, it would have taken me to that one. Got it. See, Disney amateur, total Disney amateur. Never been here before, no clue what I'm doing, obviously. <sighs> All right, should we try it? Should we try that way? Pass, don't know. Let's walk. So we lucked out because the boats are running again and uh, we're gonna get a boat to Disney Springs safely from getting lost anymore. Good evening. I'll admit I'm glad because that pathway is a little bit dark and I'm on my own. I know it's Disney, but always, always think about your safety as well. So this is where it comes out. It says Marketplace. We've got the boat dock here. And this boat dock will serve Old Key West, Saratoga Springs, Port Orleans, all of those resorts. And right across there, you can see Paddlefish. And right there, is the walkway to Saratoga Springs. So you are, if you're in the right area of Saratoga Springs, you are right on top of Disney Springs and that walking path. Not far at all. So where, where or where in Marketplace is this gonna come out? This is, and do you know something? All of this has made me forget about my anxiety, which is great. Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, so it comes out near the Christmas shop. However, right now you do need to go through security. So, we are going further down to the main security point, which I think, think is gonna be by the bus stop. Look at that. It's always Christmas in Disney. <laughs> so, where you actually enter is Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is right there. And that is Once Upon a Toy and Earl of Sandwich. That's where it comes out. Now we know. Now I wasn't planning on coming here as we know. It's kind of just happens. I'm glad it did. But uh, we're here at night. And I love night mode on my iPhone. And I'm feeling better just for being out. Right, Mr. Potato Head? I'm not mad. Mr. Potato Head. He's right there. Hi, buddy. So we're gonna walk, we're gonna take photos until we don't feel like it anymore and we'll go back. There is a lot of people here though. All right, I'm gonna take you in Goofy's Candy Company. There's Rainforest Cafe over there. But I'm gonna take you in Goofy's Candy Company right now. It smells amazing, homemade treats, every kind of sugary concoction. We're gonna go in and take a look around. Look at that, like 
whole roast pumpkin pie. Roast Mickey. Oh, and you know, you anniversary colours right there. 50th cupcakes and apple. Look at these giant cookies in the 50th colours. Wowie. All looks good. Macarons. Fantastic. Boo, it's me. Look what I got. He's so pretty. I love these anniversary colours. So, so cute. And it's about the size of two thirds of my face. Crazy. <laughs> and I also got from Goofy's Glaciers the uh, Berry Blues. I've been having these for Oh my gosh, nearly 20 years, and I love them. Super sweet, don't have them every day. Very artificial flavoring, but it's a goofy glacier. And it's, it's my thing and <laughs> just makes me happy. Have you noticed, I'm back to me. All this just walking and talking and everything. If you've watched this vlog tonight, thank you so, so much because it's been like my therapy. Um, just, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I've ended up at Disney Springs. I feel a gazillion times better just for walking and talking. I don't know. So, there's gonna be a little bit more to this vlog. I'm gonna take you in the Christmas store, which is just behind me right there. A little bit more walking and talking before we go, but. I do appreciate it if you have sat through this garbled something tonight. <laughs> so we've come into the Christmas store, days of Christmas, where it is Christmas all year round and you can pick out your ornaments, your stockings, your decor, you can get personalised engraved ornaments, um, there's always something new and it's kind of tradition that I would come in and choose an ornament, normally if my kids are with me they used to choose ornaments too. We've ended up that every year our tree is just an assortment of Disney ornaments. <laughs> um, this year I already did because I got Mickey and Minnie in and their anniversary gift. But it's always worth having a look around. So cute. Pinocchio Legacy. Oh, 
Oh no, there's 12. Look, that's 9 or 12. Oh my gosh. 25 years of Pocahontas. How's that possible? fantastic idea but as you can see it might be a Christmas store but you're gonna find stuff you want yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh wow you're killing me now heart icon decorations look at those it's huge though that's my hand that is a big ornament And with those flames <laughs> and my pigment uh, ornament in hand, I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much if you watched my craziness tonight and for being my therapy with me. I honestly, I had no clue where tonight was going to go. I'm doing so much better and I'm ready for the next couple of days till I go back to England. I won't be traveling now for the next few months, but I am convinced that there's gonna be lots of fun stuff happening in London and around my area in the next coming months for Christmas, for Halloween, and then in the new year, we'll be taking off again. And I'm not telling you where just yet, but it's very exciting and it's a brand new destination for me. So, and it's not Disney this time, but stick with it, because it's still gonna be cool. Um, right back to Saratoga if I can find the boat dock <laughs> or the path oh here we go again right I love you all good night everybody and thanks for watching and if you enjoyed please do subscribe give it a thumbs up leave me a comment if you want to connect about mental health or anything else you have questions about and I'll see you really really soon good night everyone Do just